Hey everybody, welcome back. I don't want to... Many people have said... And I'm, the video has not come out yet. So I'm assuming that many people will say... <laughs> when the last video comes out, they'll say things like, NL's cracked the code. How about an unwashed stinker? I don't know, pink stinker is also really good. Oh, man. man. Let's just leave it at that. I just hated our shop, by the way. That's, I buy honey when I hate the shop. And I'm not buying tamarinds. I'm not buying the horses. Like, it's got to be two threes, three twos, otters, or moths. That's it. And if you're not going to give me that, then, then shut the frick up and get back in the pit. Right? Am I right, fellow hardcore enjoyers? Anyway, I'm not talking about pink stick stinkers. I'm talking about the, the, the music genre. I don't know what I'm talking about, actually. We just lost a Kyogre, man. It's a legendary from Pokemon freaking Sapphire or something. Okay. Half-life. Full-life consequences. Not really where I want to be right now, but level me. Giraffe. Early. Crazy. Sell into the giraffe. giraffe. That looks okay. Moth can go to the front. Spider has a certain je ne sais quoi. I think you freeze pills early. There's a lot of, like, good pillable units. There's no other foods we'd want except, like, apples. Anyway, people are going to say that I cracked the code because I got two 10 pieces in a row. But now they're obviously not going to say that I cracked the code because look, look at what I'm dealing with here. <laughs> look at what I'm doing here. I'm doing nothing. I'm, uh, never mind. I'm winning. Maybe I've cracked the code. Okay, we're back. I think you have to go sooner rather than later. And then both, like, yeah, it's crazy to say, man, but I think Giraffe and Hedgehog inherit the buffs here because they're the units most likely to stick around for a little bit. We do get a free reroll. I would, honestly, I, I hate to tell you this, brother, I would run back almost the same dang thing. At least we're getting some form of scaling. And, you know, Big Hedgehog, as long as we structure our squad accordingly, Big Hedgehog, it can, it can do something for us. That's an insane one-for-one one that we do not deserve. We probably deserve the win, though. Look at the, look at the difference in stats on that. It's madness. Pill me. Purchase me. One day our moth is going to be able to move to the back, man. <laughs> one day. And you know what? We're going to run another giraffe here. I, I know this is crazy, but we got garlic on a hedgehog. How ironic, he could damage everything except himself. It's a very unusual looking squad, without a doubt. To, to beat a blowfish team with an elephant at this stage of the game is extremely bullish. I'm a little stunned, and I'm, I'm just being honest, I'm, I'm going in here. You're at tier two, you're at tier three. I'm not, am I? You know what? You've served your purpose. I am going baboons. I'm going to go double baboons to give better buffs to our giraffes. It also gets us close to a level. Oh, you pieces of crap. <laughs> you were supposed to hit the giraffe. I'm not paying. I know I could buy a donut. I'm not paying one gold for a donut. They should learn how to do their job. I say one gold. I'm in three gold. I'm not paying three gold for a donut on a giraffe. When, it, when a hot dog and a soda is a buck fifty at Costco, get a life. I mean, this is straight up. You definitely go shark. You could call me crazy on this one, but I think you sell both, knowing that you want a spot open for pillables. Orangutan. Orangutan hitting our shark would kind of go crazy. Figuring out what I'm doing with the giraffe here. I mean, it might not be the... Because we got the giraffe so early. Or sorry, we got the shark so early. How stupid am I? That's <laughs> the question here. <laughs> we could start buffing a hippo. So 1-1 one, one per turn. It's only turn 7. I mean, it makes a... I don't... Listen, what, one option. Sell the moth, buy a hippo. Then we don't even have to change the order. And we got, a, we got something pretty solid going. But the hippo is just so boring. I'm just, you know, learn to live a little. It does guarantee the shark gets the HP, but I think the shark gets our first HP anyway. I think you don't worry about a moth. We get ready to sell it. A second orangutan. Would love to see it. 
and I guess we are pumping the giraffe a little. Now I'm buffing a moth. But by buffing the moth, it guaranteed the shark got the HP. I'm accidentally a genius, even though I assumed it was going to get it anyway, to be honest, but... Okay, I think this squad has what the French call a certain I-don't-know-what. We need to freeze pills when we see them. Oh, there was a pill there. I'm stupid. It's going to be like a place me, place me. So now I know you're getting one of the buffs, but maybe the shark will get the other one. You're going to take this. You're going to take this. Let's get this shark set up for the future. That's a buyable sellable. It's not bad, I think. And that's a level, which goes crazy. And we want to keep pillable units for the shark, but I think only when we have pills frozen. Does that make sense? Uh, okay, so this squad is built in my own image. But on the other hand, I do have a shark. Well, we have a Hulk. Okay, we're, we're still making it. Still feeling great. We're in the laboratory. Freeze both pills. This could go insane. Level me. The octopus just doesn't really fit yet, unfortunately. The betta fish into a pill definitely fits. You're going to be buffing a giraffe, probably. You know what? No, 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 because you, you, you can't buff the octopus because then you got nowhere to go with it. I think this is the way we want to set up for now. I know it looks a little crazy. Like, why would you invest in an owl? Oh. <laughs> That's going to happen a lot with this orangutan, I'm realizing. Now, that is a big buffalo. We're, we're asking a lot trying to get our, our shark up over top of that. Mathematics. Mm, you know, I'll, I'll just give it to you straight. We're not going to get up over top of that. It's a big buffalo. Kudos on your big buffalo. Sell me. Buy me. Sell me. Place me. Roll me. I think we run four squatted. Man who has lost his mind. Yeah, I think this is a four squad situation. It just means that the orangutan HP is not going to go to a unit that is like only here temporarily. I mean, this is, I listen, it might not be the most viable strategy, but it's hard for me to resist scaling via buying, selling and pilling just cause it's like so atypical. It, it's not something that, that shows up in your average uh, weekly. So I feel like, and plus we've been winning games. Let's, let's, Let's take some risks. Let's run a four-squatted shark build, even though the shark obviously does better the more units are on the squad. Makes perfect sense to me. That's not fully fair. We're doing it mostly because of the orangutan, okay? We need the orangutan to give the stats to the unit that is that deserves them the most. Is there anything we could do here? You're going to give a 1-1. One, one. I want the orangutan to give the stats to the hedgehog. I think the way we do that is we pill the flamingo right here. So the hedgehog should have more overall stats. And thus received... Never mind. <laughs> we, this, this might be the kind of run where we buy a lot of tacos. Not just because it's Tuesday. Never mind. I'm being told through my earpiece it is Wednesday. And that is, uh, that's the honest-to-goodness truth. I cannot tell a lie about that one. Um, and not just because they're delicious, but because we need attack more than anything else. It's a good purchase to sell. Now, the otter, I would, I would pass on temporarily. We're waiting to see some pills. I don't see pills, so I'm, I'm a simple man. We, we revert to buy selling instead. This is not an, a fantastic buy sell, but I, I think we made the best of a not so great situation there. Hedgehog's gonna get the buff here. Wait, roll me, pills me, pills me, yes! We really wanna pill some walruses. The shark doesn't really need to level up. Like, if anything, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what needs to level up, to be honest with you. It's a very strange-looking team we've got going on here. This is a loss. The shark is like, it's it's so close to max. It, we were close to winning that one, by the way. The, sh the shark is so close to max, max stats anyway. I think we want this. We don't really need it on the giraffe. 
I guess you would put it on the orangutan, but we're getting close to that not being too relevant. And we, yep, we're, we're four squatted. You're not wrong. Remember to freeze pills? That's Turtle could go insane here. I would even have Turtle soak up some orangutan buffs, and I, I wouldn't even cry about it. I would consider that the cost of doing business. What a shot. Are we going to have any chance on Earth to get through this buffalo? No, we're not. Okay, so we're going down to 1 HP. Still close, but not close enough. We need another unit that provides some value. Give me a tier 6. Mammoth's not it. It's obviously a great pillable, but I think we got to focus on other things right now. Like, we, we sort of need something like this, I think. And give me some tacos. We, we know the turtle's going to be taking the orangutan buff, but that's okay. You give that turtle a steak eventually, it's not doing so bad. I'm hoping the melon armor can make a difference for us. That's a 50-50. It's a nasty looking team is what it is. That's heinous. <laughs> yeah, we're toast. Honestly, props to the donkey on that one. I really, once we got that shark cruising, I thought we were going to 10. But uh, maybe the four squad was not the way to handle it. I think it was a little too beholden to the orangutan as well. Great squad to begin the game with here, though. Like, close to the ideal team. It'd be like a, like an adorable lawnmower. You could picture like a, like a push lawnmower with like googly eyes on it, eyelashes. You know what I haven't seen a lot of lately? Cars with eyelashes on their headlights. Used to see it now and then on a, like a VW Beetle or something. The other thing, and, and you might have seen this, and, and maybe you have a better explanation than me. I saw this all the time in Korea, and then like occasionally in North America I'll see it too. What's up with the cars? And they have, um, like the only way I can describe it is in the door frame, they have like a square of blue foam. Which I think maybe is something when you buy the car, it's like, hey, here's, just letting you know, here's how new your car is. It still has the foam square in the door. But then when you buy the car, you open the door, you take out the foam and you throw it in the garbage can. I see a lot of cars out there, well, in, in 2010, 2011 Korea, like one in four cars still had the blue squares on their, on their doors. One second. Blue foam square on car. Why does everyone have little foam stickers on the sides of their cars? Hold on. I'm living in Yongsan at the moment. Seven years ago. This is the top result on Google. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I see these stickers. I've seen blue ones and pink ones. What are they? To help prevent bumps when they're parked close to other cars. Well, that actually makes like perfect sense. But then someone here said thought the same thing as me. It's like keeping the plastic wrap on any stainless steel surface forever. Yeah, I, <laughs> I thought it was to show newness or something like that, but it's, uh, I guess it's uh, like a door bumper. Okay. I mean, that might make some sense. Me personally, I simply like look before I open my car door, but I'm not going to say I guess that accidents never happen. It would be naive. You know what? Take your level anyway. Just, ooh, that's crazy. Crazy, crazy, just thinking about you, baby. We'll get you next time. We'll sell the duck. We'll probably maybe sell the otter. Get the... Mar yeah, yeah. With one round of stats we don't cry about. We'll keep a 3-4 and a 3-4 instead. You know what? I, I learned something here. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Learn a lot of things on this channel. I, and you know what? I'm imagining that they could probably use them in North America as well. Although I will say... Anytime I'm in an American parking lot, admittedly these are not in major cities, but anytime I'm in an American parking lot, I'm always stunned that anyone could hit their car door into another car because the parking spaces are wide enough for a, a Hummer and that you could also get an SUV in there. Nice, bazinga. Um, and then they have like the double painted cylinders too. So you could walk like uh, the rock between two cars without him even having to turn sideways. But I guess life finds a way sometimes. Now, just hook me up with this. We're obviously looking for pills for the betta fish. 
People will, haters will lie to you. They'll whisper in your ear like Grima Wormtongue. They'll say the big marmoset cannot work. Well, we're going to put that theory to the test. All right, I'd like to say the big marmoset cannot work. <laughs> no, no, no. You got to give us some time. It's barely even gotten off the ground here. Cut it some slack. Give it one of these. And that is a big marmoset. I think we should. I would be more than happy. Oh, the goose could be leveled. Too. Okay, we have to wait a turn. Am I willing to accept a loss on this turn? No, I'm... Listen, I may regret selling that bat, but we have such a good dragonfly setup for next turn. We'll be getting a buff on all three of our units that are not dragonflies. I guess three of our four units, because hopefully we'll run four squatted. And the, the marmoset getting huge and having like um, having garlic on it, I think is probably like the most important thing for our chances of success. At least in the mid game. To not lose that is crazy. To win is divine. Squirrel? I think you'd, you'd go owl and sell me. The Barristan, the classic Barristan. You know what? Give me a squirrel while we're here. Food's going to be a little cheaper next time. Cheaper garlic is nice. We could be buffing a dragonfly with a baboon. I think the baboon is more something we pivot to on like a tier six. Like trying to use it. To, it's, it's fool's gold for me to try to plan a squad that like hits the exact appropriate power curve at all times for the, for the baboon. Just getting me to call it by the right name is, is hard enough. Okay. Big win. I don't think we want another goose. If anything, I'd love to sell the goose and get like a level 2 giraffe or a level 2 anything, basically. Lettuce will buff only our dragonfly for... Oh, a dragonfly and squirrel? Okay, that's, that's enough. You've, you've convinced me. So I think I would like to sell a squirrel and run a turtle right here. And obviously we're just doing it until like maybe a pill shows up. And I'm just going to buy a cupcake. I think, I think winning now has some, has some importance associated with it. Our giraffe may not be long for this world if, if we don't get it to level two. It's a strong boy. But that, your whole squad was structured around one strong boy. My squad is structured around one very strong boy. And then one boy that's slightly stronger than your average goose. All righty. Not necessary. Hippo, of course, but it's boring. I think we got a can, because we know we have a pivot incoming. Two dragonflies, Pippin. I don't think he's heard of second dragonfly. I think this works, but we'd, we'd need to probably... I mean, I would get rid of my giraffe for a third dragonfly before I even think about running like a level 2 dragonfly. It's a very strong ox, but it, it matters not. It matters not. <laughs> oh, man. Should have seen your face. Well, okay. To, well, I, I was going to say put your money where your mouth is, but no. Instead, we'll level our dragonfly, and then we'll run a, a, a monkey out here, and we've got like even better scaling. And I would talk about the death touch here, but I'd, I'd love to see a pill to justify it. Not too late. You had your chance. Okay, so there's our pill. The other thing I'd like to see is a donut. I don't mind so much if we overwrite the, the garlic. But I really don't want... I mean, I guess I shouldn't even be that upset if we overwrite a melon, like... A scary squad here. No, you're gonna be scary in a bit. You're not quite scary yet, though. I guess anything that gets this death touch, we'd be pretty happy. So we could like sell, buy, pill. Totally fine by me. Buy, sell, buy, sell. Straight up, buy. I mean, this squad is, is equipmented out of its gourd right now. Turtle taking the buff kind of annoying, but... 
Maybe I'd, I'm trying to think. I, I guess with this, pretty soon I would rather have melon on my marmoset than than garlic. I think I'm guilty of like over committing to the to the garlic. It's insanely good in the mid game, like transformative in the mid game. But in the late game, the melon matters a lot more. Maybe it's time. I would start. Yeah. Okay. I would start. I would probably do a quick buy sell. It's half as good as a zebra, but there was no zebra in the shop. <laughs> Hello, Peta. I would roll. Peta's like close, but another walrus. Two walruses. I mean, this could go. This could go crazy, man. So we're gonna move the goose up to the front soon. I think this is going to 10. I'm not, it's not automatic, like it's not guaranteed to go to 10. And I've seen some very creative teams, like look at this super chili pepper team here. Now, you don't have to be creative when you got a 50-50 with melon armor. You just run it down mid, but I do, I, I appreciate the creativity. I do. I would still say roll me. At this stage of the game, um, <laughs> I was just, just thinking, really. Why don't you move up to the front? I had a... Okay, so... But where, where are you going to fit? No, you're just going to... Okay, hold on. This and this. And then you come here. Yeah, for now. And there's a donut, which is actually, like, maybe important for us. And we would probably, I'm trying to think. Would we rather have melon armor or death touch? It's like 50-50 is already death touch for almost every unit. Maybe it's not gonna matter too much. Maybe we're just making like a scary squad just to, just to be hip with it. But it feels good. Hey, what? so hit me with one of these. Don't hit the monkey. I, if you hit any other unit, I'll accept it. But th don't hit the monkey. The monkey's already got it. That's okay. I mean, this is a scary squad, man. Like, look at, th look at this squad and tell me this ain't like the scariest squad you've ever seen in your life. Three death touch, a melon armor, 50-50s, incredible scaling, lots of HP left. Like, I, I would not want to be the other team right now. Okay, you got melon armor? That don't impress me much. Big Marmoset can work. Don't let the haters get in your head. And the goose is just kind of a weird one. Dude, we're kind of crazy at the weekly on YouTube. On Twitch, we're getting our butts kicked. But hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.